welcome to one and all i am vasantha department of computer science gopal swami pu college mysore today we are going to start with the fourth session of inheritance chapter already we explained regarding what do you mean by inheritance the types of inheritance what are the advantages of inheritance all those things already we explained in the previous sessions now once again i am going to recall and then i am going to continue with the session whereas inheritance is a process of acquiring the properties from base class to derived class or we can say it's a process of creating a new class by using existing class creating a new class by using existing class then what do you mean by base class base class is nothing but existing class creating a new class by using existing class then what are the advantages of inheritance the code can be reused obviously the time consumption will be reduced easy to maintain easy to extend as well as memory can be utilized very less these are the few advantages of inheritance that is whatever code we are written the same code can be reused inheritance and heredity same properties from the parents the properties are transferred to son it means its a properties are transferring from base to derived class here once the properties are transferred no need to write once again the same code that's why the code can be reused whatever code for the father we are written the same code can be reused obviously the time consumption is reduced here we are using the existing code once again no need to write the same code that's why the time consumption will be very less easy to extend easy to maintain as well as it helps you reduce the memory also memory consumption is also very less with that we explain types of inheritance under that single level inheritance multi level inheritance multiple inheritance hybrid inheritance hierarchical inheritance these are the five types of inheritance single level multi level multiple hybrid as well as hierarchical then with that we explained how exactly it can be defined while defining we used to write first the keyword class first we are using the keyword class then next we are using derived class then next we are using derived class then next colon visibility mode visibility mode visibility mode then we used to write the base class then we used to write the base class this is the pattern to define the class especially inheritance class derived class colon visibility mode base class for example class son colon visibility mode for example i am to take public public then here the base class i am going to take father so this is a method to define inheritance here the properties of father are passed to son then visibility mode what do you mean by visibility mode on this class we'll explain what do you mean by visibility mode how to define that how to access the data from base class to derived class that today i'm going to explain you whereas visibility mode will controls the access specifiers of the members of the base class in the derived class hagandre artha base class alli ro data so properties na access maadbahuda maadbarda derived class anodr bage helutte visibility mode will controls the access specifiers of the members of the base class in the derived class illi ro members na base class alli ro members na data sana functions na access maadbahuda ಮಾಡಬಾರ್ದ ಅನ್ನೋದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ವಿಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಮೂಡ್ ಹೇಳುತ್ತೆ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಯು ದ ವೇಟೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಫೈವ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ದ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಮೀನ್ ಬೈ ಇನ್ಹರ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ವಿತ್ ಅನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಅಂತ ಕೇಳ್ಬೋದು ಆನ್ ದಟ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಡೆಫಿನೇಷನ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೀಸ್ ಒನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಕ್ಯಾರೀಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ ದೇ ಮೇ ಗುಡ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇನ್ಹರ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಫೈವ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ದೇರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೈನ್ single level multi level multiple hybrid as well as hierarchical otherwise they may going to ask the question explain visibility mode explain visibility mode in inheritance this is also very important question for five marks then first you have to write the definition 
how to access the data, how exactly it will control regarding that you have to explain. Whereas visibility mode will control the access specifiers of the members of the base class in the derived class. If you write this chart, then it will be easy for you to remember the how exactly it will work. For example, first we will take the base class. First we will take base class. Then next we will take derived class. Derived class. In the base class also we have private, public as well as protected. In base class also we have private, public as well as protected. There are three axes here. Here also in the same way. Private, public as well as protected. Now, how to identify, how to remember this table? There is a technique to remember this table. See, if the base class is private, while writing right on like this pattern, while explaining it, explain in column wise format, then it will be easy for you to remember also. If the base class is private, in derived class, it may be private, public or protected. In any case, write down not inherited. Not inherited. Not inherited. Not inherited. Then, if the base class is public, on that case, whatever may be the derived class heading, write in the same headings. In derived class, we have here private, public, as well as protected. Write down as it is. Private. Here we have public. And here we have protected. Now is it clear? Whereas when we come on protected case, only in private case it is private and remaining will be it is protected. Only in private case it is private and the remaining case it will be protected. In remaining case it will be protected. Now is it clear? Visibility mode will control the access specifiers of the base class in the derived class. Now, while writing explanation, first, private inheritance. How to write the private inheritance? In private inheritance, in private inheritance, take down the same concept, syntax as well as example. See, class, derived class, colon, visibility mode, then base class. In private inheritance, if the base class is private and in the derived class, it cannot be inherited. While writing the example, this is a syntax and this is an example. See, class, derived class, on the place of visibility mode, write on private. On the place of visibility mode, write on private, then further. It means that if the base class is private, the members of the base class, if it is private, in the derived class also, it is not inherited. Now, is it clear? And the private, while explaining, you have to write explain in column wise then it will be easy for you. Public members of the base class become private in the derived class. While writing syntax, class, derived class, visibility mode, then base class. While writing example, class, derived class is son, here the visibility mode is private and the base class is further. The members of the base class, if it is public, then in the derived class, it become private. If the base class members are protected, then it becomes private in the derived class. Three concepts you remember. If the base class members are private, while explaining in column wise you to explain. If the base class members is private, then in the derived class it is not inherited. If the base class members are public, then in the derived class it becomes private. If the base class if it is protected, then it became private in the derived class. Now is it clear? Now while explaining, while explaining public inheritance, on that, while syntax will be the same, class, derived class, colon, visibility mode, then base class. While explaining example, class, son, 
here on this place, you have to write it as public. Public, then further. This is the syntax and this is an example. While there also to explain three things. One is, if the base class become private, then in public inheritance, the derived class cannot be inherited. If the base class members are private, then in the derived class, it is not inherited. It cannot be able to access. If the base class is public, then in the derived class also, it become public only in public visibility mode there. Then, if the base class is protected, then in the derived class also, it become protected. Now, is it clear? First point, in private inheritance, if the base class is private, then in derived class also, it is not able to inherit. If it is public in the base class, then it become private in the derived class. In the base class, if it is protected, then in the derived class also, it, it become private. In public, visibility mode that if the base class is private then it cannot be inherited in the derived class if the base class members are public then in the derived class also it become public only if the base class become protected then in the derived class also it become protected this is regarding public next the last one is protected in protected also and protected also syntax will be the same class, derived class, visibility mode, then base class. While writing a visibility mode, here you have to write protected. Here you have to write protected. See? While explaining this, write down, explain column wise. If the base class members become private, then in the derived class, it cannot be inherited. If the base class members are private, then it cannot be inherited in the derived class. If the base class members are public, then in the derived class, it become protected. In the derived class, it become protected. Next, if the base class, if it is protected, the members are, if it is protected, in the derived class also become protected. This thing you have to write. Once again, to recall all the things, Visibility mode will control the access specifiers of the members of the base class in a derived class. Hagandratta base class alli members na access mode bohuda derived class. So access mode vaga yau tarad convert agat. As it is access mode bohda mode the kagalva. Alli private to data so derived class al bandaga yen agat. Eno dhor bage explain mode. Visibility mode will controls the access specifiers of the members of the base class in the derived class. There are three visibility modes. Private, public and protected. While writing this table, write down in horizontal format. While explaining, write down in column wise format. That is in vertical format. While writing, first write on base class, then derived class. In base class also private, public, protected. In derived class also private, public, protected. In private case, it cannot be inherited in all the cases. In public, whatever heading you have in derived class, write in the same thing. Here we have private, here also write on private. Here we have public, here also write on public. Here it is protected, write on here also it is protected. But when you come on protected case, only when you have the heading, especially in derived class private, there write on private. And the remaining thing will be protected. Okay. Then, while explaining class, derived class, colon, visibility board, then base class. The syntax example class, then derived class name you have to write, then what is the visibility mode? Private, public, protected that you have to mention, then you have to mention the base class. While explaining in each case, you have to explain three points. Especially in private inheritance, if the base class members are private, then it cannot be inherited in the derived class. First point. Second point. If the base class members are public, then in the derived class, it become private. That is the second point. Third point, if the base class members are protected, then in the derived class, it become private. Third point, for private inheritance. The next one, in public case. On that also, if the base class members are private, then it cannot be inherited in the derived class. If the base class members are public, it become public only in the derived class. 
if it is protected in the base class then in the derived class also it is protected this is regarding public inheritance next one protected case especially in protected visibility mode there if the base class members are private then it cannot be inherited in the derived class it means that if the base class is private that cannot be inherited in the derived class base only now base class only private anta kotre then if it may be visibility mode private or public or protected in any case on that case the data cannot be inherited it cannot be accessed if it is public if the base class members are public then in the derived class it become protected if the base class members are protected in the derived class also it is protected it means that visibility mode will controls the access specifiers of the members of the base class in the derived class from this you come to know how to how we can able to access that's why visibility mode na will enadru ve private anta kottaga navu data na base class in the derived class ke access madodakkagala that's why in the program we use right the visibility mode is public on that case we can able to access then on that case public anta kottage enagutte if the base class is public then in derived class also it is public only then easily we can able to access the data that's why the visibility mode will controls the access specifiers of the members of the base class in the derived class this is the regarding the visibility mode it's very important question for five marks in the annual exam they will ask one question you may going to get what do you mean by inheritance explain the advantage anta kelpodu athwa what is inheritance what is inheritance explain the example program anta kuda kelpodu otherwise explain the types of inheritance anta five marks ke kelpodu otherwise the visibility mode in inheritance anta kelpodu visibility mode heluvaga if you read this table then easy for you to remember the concept as well as explain now is it clear the sort of thing regarding the visibility mode this we'll going to write one example for this here we have father is the son is the derived class and father is the base class how to write first class the class here father here we have data members in private section as well as in public sections we have member functions data members data members as well as member function member functions then close this class your father is a base class that's it. that year we are close it while creating son class here son is the derived class then here the visibility mode we have to take public then we can easily access public the base class is father the base class is father here also in private declare the data members data members then in public declare the member functions member functions then close this class here we have one class that is father and here also we have one class son this son acts as the members of the father in a derived class and this derived class can also have the additional data members as well as functions and the son only father do kuda properties irutte adr jothege additional properties kuda irutte this is the general format to represent the visibility mode the remaining thing next class we will explain thank you for all of you